Were you aware of the kind of security buying and selling that Presidents Kaplan and Rosengren were participating in last year? And I wonder if you thought those were appropriate. So, no, I was not aware of the specifics of, of what they were doing. Uh, so let me just say a couple things about this subject. Um, we understand very well that the trust of the American people is essential for us to effectively carry out our mission. And that's why I directed uh, the Fed to begin a comprehensive review of the ethics, ethics rules around permissible financial holdings and activity by Fed officials. So those rules are, in, in many respects, the same as those for government agencies, plus uh, a number of things that apply specifically to us because of our business. One of those is sort of three things I would point to in terms of specific uh, restrictions. One is ownership of certain assets is not allowed, and that's bank securities and, and other things. Secondly, there are times when we're not allowed to uh, trade at all or to you know, buy and sell financial assets, and that's the period immediately before and during an FOMC meeting. And third, there's regular disclosure. So all of these, everyone's uh, you know, ownership and, and activities are all disclosed on an annual basis. So uh, you know, I, I would have had to go back and read people's financial disclosures to know what their activities have been. This has been our framework for, for a long time. And I, I guess you'd say it's served us well. The other thing you would say, that it is now clearly seen as not adequate to the task of, of, uh, of really uh, sustaining the public's trust in us. We need to make changes, and we're going to do that as a consequence of this. This will be a thoroughgoing and uh, uh, comprehensive review. We're going to gather all the facts um, and, and look at ways to further tighten our rules and, uh, and standards.